Hello guys, I'm back with another tutorial. In uh, today's video, I will show you how to uh, install a um, unified controller on the Freenet uh, Geo. Alright, uh, so first step is the uh, creating a uh, Geo. So from your Freenet uh, homepage, navigate it to uh, Geos and add a new one. And the jail name we are call it uh, Unify. You can uh, name it uh, whatever. That's totally up to you. And next, uh, if you know what you're doing, uh, go ahead and config uh, static IP. Uh, for the tutorial, uh, we're just gonna keep it simple. So I'm gonna keep everything at uh, default setting. Uh, DHCP. Let it figure it out by itself. And submit. All right, now we got uh, our jail created. Uh, next thing we're gonna start it. All right, uh, as you know, the underlying uh, operating uh, system for FreeNAS is actually a free uh, BSD. So free uh, free BSD actually of uh, have a ports and packages um, collections it offers a simple way for a user and administrator to install applications and uh, that's what we're gonna use to install um, unified controllers so there are plenty of tutorial out there it's a little bit outdated it's not for the um, freeness uh, 11.42 which is on the um, free uh, PSD uh, version 12 uh, so I decided to make the tutorial However, a lot of them, they give you the command line to install the package, but they didn't actually show you exactly where the thing came from. I just want to show you, okay, if you decide to uh, use FreeNAS in the long run, uh, you should get familiar with uh, all the uh, <coughs> port and packages collection. So later on, if you want to manually uh, create a jail, create, uh, and then install the package into that jail, you know what to look for <clears throat> so that the reason this video gonna be a little bit longer but just bear with me guy uh, all right and let's head back here so now we already get, um, get the jerry aided let the uh, login on uh, <coughs> let manage the jail room uh, the um, command prompt I'm gonna go ahead and open up the edit X section. All right, and uh, in order to manage the uh, unified jail that we just create, we're gonna use the command uh, IOK console and uh, the name of the jail. Unify. If you name something else, make sure you change it. And we are in. As you see right here, it uh, changes to uh, root at unify instead of uh, free. Uh, I forgot what it were. Uh, root at freeness. There you go. <coughs> so uh, first, we need to update the um, index of all the uh, port and packages. So we're gonna run the command uh, pkg for package update and upgrade. <coughs> That's why. And inner. So right now, what it do it it building the index of um, where all the packages is stored at. Um, so when you run the command, it know where to wrap the packages and in, install it on your uh, IOK jail. All right. Now that uh, it finished building a new index file, we're gonna install the Unify controller. <coughs> Let's head back to the first port. Uh, sorry, I can't say port for whatever reason. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, let's look for the Unify. 
So as you see right here, they have uh, three different uh, versions of uh, Unify. The first one, 5.9, uh, 4.26, but this is um, the Unify controller development release, which means that it's still under development and it might not be stable. So it's up to you if you want to use it. I actually test it out and it's working uh, just fine. Um, the Unify uh, controller V5, uh, the LTS or long time support version, I tried it out. However, it, it didn't really work. There were, there's some issue with the web interface. Uh, not recommended to use it. The Unify controller V5, this is a stable release and it actually worked pretty well except for cloud access is not working. Uh, other than that, everything works fine. So to install the package, all you just have to do is copy the, the second line right here. <coughs> package install Unify. And let's go back there. And paste it in. And uh, it lets you know these are the packages going to be installed. Uh, you see right here the open uh, JDK A or the Open Java, different than the Oracle uh, uh, JDK A. It's uh, one of the de uh, dependency that required to run Unify. Uh, so it's the um, what is it that uh, the Mongo um, DB thirty six uh, version three six <coughs> and the Snappy one four one four six. But uh, that's not the issue. I think the issue um, that make it the um, the the cloud access not working at the Snap is Java one four zero. The current version right now one four seven. But um, I don't think it free PSD actually um, updating the distro for Snap is Java anymore. If you notice, I actually fast for a. Um, all the installation uh, routes. So to install the Unify, it actually uh, took me around 30 minutes. Uh, it, it might take you a little bit longer or maybe faster. It all depends on uh, the connection, how fast the connection is. Uh, and it's not just your internet connection, uh, but also that uh, uh, the server where you get the file from. All right, so now uh, the next step is to uh, enable uh, the Unify at boot time. So every time Freenet boot up, the Unify gonna get boot up at the same time too. The command gonna be uh, sysrc and Unify. Uh, once again, if you name it something other than Unify, then you need to change this, um, in this step. <coughs> enable equal yes all right so it means that uh, when the system boot up it's gonna start a uh, unified jail at the same time <clears throat> and now we're gonna start a unified service so service and unify start <laughs> starting unify all right so that's it we should be done with the um, <coughs> command prompt if you currently have a Unify uh, controller running and you want uh, to uh, use uh, restore it room to backup, what you do is you need to uh, backup the configuration from your uh, current uh, Unify controller and uh, I recommend it to uh, back it up uh, at least one a month so uh, anything goes south um, you still have the backup configuration to restore the, uh, it you don't have to um, start from the beginning uh, so in order to do that, you go uh, from the Unify uh, uh, web interface, you go to the settings and you go to the uh, maintenance <coughs> and down here you have, have the backup data retentions and have a uh, download backup. And you keep a copy of it uh, in uh, web, uh, whichever directory you want it. And in the next step, uh, I'll show you how to um, restore it. Mm, I forgot what the IP address. 
So the IP address for the unifier is going to be um, that one. <coughs> so in order to access the unify uh, controller uh, web interface, you're going to use HTTPS and uh, the IP address and uh, I already uh, set it up before so the browser actually remember it um, and port uh, A443 and advanced proceed <coughs> and there you have it guys that's how you install the um, unify on the free NAS uh, if you have the um, you can start set up the new one but if you have uh, the backup from your um, another unified controllers you can restore from the backup let me show you how to do that too I actually have a backup file here and confirm it's gonna take a little bit uh, keep in mind that you might lose uh, connections uh, because obviously it gonna restore the um, unified controller uh, setting from the backup and it's gonna try to adopt the um, all the device associated with, with that backup uh, so <coughs> when it doing that uh, it actually gonna try to uh, re uh, revision uh, the device like uh, your access point so you might lose connections it shouldn't take that long, but if uh, if the death case, sometimes it fails to restart itself. What you do with the? Uh, you gonna go back to uh, terminal and repeat the last command again. Start the unify service again. <clears throat> and now you should be able to access this. It's starting up. Yep. And there you go. Up and running with login. <clears throat> there you go. Try to uh, refresh it. Alright, up and running. Everything good to go. Like I mentioned earlier, is, uh, if you restore the backup configuration, it's automatically uh, disconnected from the last unified controllers. And it's going to be adopted by this one, and this new controller is going to revision this. So you might uh, experience uh, uh, this connection from your access point uh, a little bit. And uh, <coughs> so, what are the limitations? You can only uh, manage this uh, locally. Uh, as you see right here, my uh, cloud um, access control it show that the it can see that the unified controller is actually online. But uh, <coughs> if I decide to launch it using the web RTC uh, using cloud, cloud, let's see, um, it's gonna fail uh, to sync with the cloud. <coughs> and it's going to go back to the controller so basically you can only control it uh, locally um, I have have time to figure out what's going on with that uh, if you do know the fix leave it in the comment below and I'll make sure that uh, I'll do the follow up uh, video hopefully help other else and uh, that's it for uh, today's tutorial guy and I'll see you guys in the next video.